fightlife.com on location here in Melbourne City with George Cambosis. <laughs> How are you, champ? Feeling great, man. Zoned in, just relaxed, cool, calm, collected, weight's no problem. We're just uh, counting down the days, the hours, and the minutes till I get to uh, be my element and do battle. Throwing some basketballs today, kicking the football. This would be new to you, being, being a rugby guy. This is new to you for being in the, probably it the is. most prestigious AFL football club in the country. Yeah, yeah, they are the most prestigious, and uh, got to yeah, pass a few AFL balls around. I'm used to passing the rugby league ball around, so uh, it is a little bit different. And take some shots on the netball court as well, so I wasn't too good with that. Obviously, I was shooting some hoops at uh, when we went for a, a media thing at uh, one of the Culture Kings yep. a couple of days ago. I was getting like four or five in a row. You got five in a row, huh? Yeah. So it shows uh, there is that, that hidden talent sometimes, but uh, with a netball, no, no chance. No chance. I was missing them. Georgia kicked off pretty fierce. It was pretty intense yesterday. Your take on what went down at Culture Kings yesterday, and uh, you've come out like you did against TFO, man. Yeah. You've got some intel. I just want to break down some of the stuff that obviously we know what a rat is. Where were you going with the informant? Talking about rat and informant, what was that about? Same thing, rat, informant, snitch. It's all the same thing, exactly what he did behind his own countryman's back. Now, I thought there was a massive $10 million fight for him and Tiffany and Lopez lined up. Bigger fight, him and Lopez, they were both undefeated, and Lopez had got through me. That's a massive fight. Mm. Wouldn't you want to be a part of that? Wouldn't you be trying to make sure your countryman wins, even if you hate the guy? You know, if, if there's a big name like Javante Davis fighting Rollies, I want, I want a tank to win, of course. You do? Of, of course. It's a big name. It's okay. a big fight. It's a big name. We want to be in them super fights. So it just doesn't make sense the way he celebrated, the way he was giving the intel, feeding me that. And of course, I'm going to accept it because this is the art of war. Deception. So of course, I'm going to accept it and enjoy it. But when I planted the seed, I knew that I'd be fighting Devin Haney next. I knew that he would be one of the guys. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it against him. And uh, that's the way I feel. That's uh, as real as it comes. This ain't no uh, act. These guys think it's an act. Do yourself a favor, go on YouTube and go see how I was acting in 2016 when I fought Brandon Ogilvy. Exact same ferocious cambosis. Go do your homework when mm. I fought Lee Sorby mm. or Tifa Malopez. Same person. Mm. You I don't say, change. I say it the way it is, from the heart. The belts, all this, doesn't change who I am. But that chip on my shoulder, like I've always had, ready for war. We just spoke to your promoter, obviously us in the media, we talk about Cambosis wins on Sunday, what's next? We talk about if Haney beats you. You spoke about Javante Davis, your take on his six round KO victory over Roller Romero on Saturday yeah, night a, in Barbados. It was a good shot, he landed a beautiful shot. He didn't look too active until that shot. Roller done better than what most expected. He didn't win every single round like he's talking about. Um, he's a funny guy, he does uh, you know, act a bit weird most of the time, so a little bit delusional with that comment, but uh, he was doing okay. And uh, Tank caught him. Tank is an explosive fighter and did catch him nice, but these are the fights. These are the big fights. You want the big names to continue winning. Well, Jimmy Gray from Showtime, PBC, Networks, they spoke about it straight away. Can the, the name come up again? George Cambosis. You have all the belts, George. Your take on his belt of where he has in the WBA? It's similar to Devin Haney. Devin Haney's belt is a, a regular belt. Same as Tank's, regular belt. I'm the super champion of both divisions, so that's why, one by one, take them all out. But my full focus on Devin Haney, I'm not thinking about anything else. Devin Haney is, is the only person that's in my mind, super focused, tunnel vision, just ready for war, zoned in. Like I've always been, like I always have prepared, prepared like a man possessed. Mate, we'll keep the festivities going on. Very relaxed, Cam Moses. I'll try, last question. Your last fight, you were in New York, it was quite cold. We're here in Melbourne, it's quite cold. Different festivities, obviously, a week out from a fight in New York. How have you found this week to where you were six days out from TFO mode? It's more relaxed, more, more yeah, zoned in, but more relaxed. It. Yeah. Just enjoying Because you're home, George? Because I'm, I'm home, it's because I'm, I'm champion. I know what I've done. I know what I've prepared, the way I've prepared. I'm not here trying to overdo myself. I'm not here trying to say, we better start training now or I have to make the weight. Yeah. I'll make the weight right now if I have to. Easy. Never struggle with anything when it comes to how I prepare. I'm just excited and enjoying the moment. I love to fight. It's my passion. And I know that I'm the one giving the biggest fights possible. I'm the one making these fights happen. The boxing the world. The boxing world, I say, wow. And both has got the biggest balls of all because he beats Tifa Lopez. 
He went and beat Selby and Mickey Bay in their backyards. Then he beats Lopez. And now look at him. Goes in defense against another big name. Didn't do a victory lap. Took the best. Took the biggest names to continue my journey. If they don't respect that, they're not true fans of boxing. How do you think Tiafomo and his father, you went to battle with them in last November. The news has spread back across into America. How do you think they feel about Devin Haney and Bill Haney and the team? Yeah, it's uh, hats on them, you know. If, that's, uh, if someone in my city, because obviously they both live in Las Vegas, if someone in my city in Sydney or even in Melbourne here was feeding inside information about me and whatever that they, they would hear, because you do hear things in your own, own country and own uh, state, I'd be on his ass straight away. So Haney's got to deal with me on Sunday. And then after that, I'll be watching my back. I'm sure the Lopez team are not going to be happy with, with what uh, Haney could say. Thank Mate, you. all the best. We'll catch up tomorrow. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support, the fans, Australia-wide, worldwide, the Greeks, everyone supporting this fight. Bringing the biggest fights possible. Keep being the best legacy.